In this video, we will look at the convex hull problem. The convex hull problem is a geometric problem regarding polygons. Let us consider these six points in a plane. A polygon is a closed figure with three or more straight edges. If we join these points in this way, we have a polygon. Let us consider these eight points in the plane. If we join these points in this way, we also have a polygon. There are two types of polygons. The polygon on the left is the convex polygon and the polygon on the right is the non-convex polygon. The polygon is a convex polygon if and only if all the line segments that join two points on or in the polygon include no point that is outside polygon. Let us consider these 12 points. Joining the points B, I, F, K, A, D, C, H, and B creates a polygon. A polygon contains all the points that are either on its edges or inside the region the polygon encloses. But this polygon is a non-convex polygon. But suppose if we join the points B, I, K, A, D, C, and B, this also creates a polygon and it's a convex polygon where all the points are either on its edges or inside the region the polygon encloses. The points circled are known as extreme points and the rest of the other points are known as planar points. The convex hull of a set of points in a plane is the smallest convex polygon that contains all the points. Just think of the convex hulls as if we have pins on the board at every point in the plane and if we use a rubber band or tie a thread starting from the extreme pin covering all the outer pins and ending up at the starting pin, then the polygon created is a convex hull. So, given a set S of n points in a plane, compute the convex hull CH of S, which is the smallest convex polygon that encloses all the points of S. In this example, the convex hull of S is the points B, I, K, A, D, and C. The problem of finding the convex hull of a set of points in the plane is a fundamental problem in computational geometry. The solution to several problems in computational geometry requires the computation of the convex hull. The convex hull finds applications in computer graphics, shape analysis, image processing, robotics, sensor planning, and many more. Let us look at how to compute the convex hull. There are two ways of finding the convex hull. The first one is to obtain the vertices or the points of the convex hull using the extreme points. The other way is to obtain the vertices of points of the convex hull in some order clockwise or counterclockwise. The simple approach to finding the convex hull is the brute force approach. The brute force approach checks if the point is extreme. This is done by considering each possible triangle that can be formed from a set of n points. Then check if a point lies within the triangle or outside the triangle. If the point is within the triangle, then the point is not an extreme point. But if the point is outside the triangle, then the point can be considered as an extreme point. This process is repeated for all n points and finally we get the convex hull. By using this approach, there will be n cube possible triangles. And since there are n points, so this approach will be taking O of n power 4 as the time complexity. Now, better performance can be achieved using the divide and conquer approach. Actually, there are three different approaches that are used to compute convex hull and are better than the brute force method. The first approach to compute the convex hull is the quick hull, which uses an approach similar to the quick sort. The second way is known as Graham scan, which is not based on divide and conquer approach and a totally different procedure is used. And the third way is to use the divide and conquer strategy called as the DC hull. 